Are you challenged by a good riddle? Well, there's a man in Wyoming who for many years has offered a prize of sterling silver to anybody who can solve his riddles. That's right. News 8's Jerry Barbie joins us now live with the story of the Wyoming Riddler. And, and Jerry, he is good. I never knew about this guy. You know, it's so funny because he's been doing it now for 17 years and a lot of people do know about it. And uh, I guess if you get the Wyoming Advance, there's always an article about the riddle when it comes out. And this is November 4th issue and the riddle is contained in here. And folks, you will not believe the prize. It's a great one. But then again, the riddle is a tough one. I hope you made extra. Who the hell are you? Just a friend. But you can call me the Riddler. When you think of the Riddler, Jim Carrey might come to mind, but he's just an actor playing a character. The real Riddler is Joe Kramer, who for the last 16 years has conducted a riddle treasure hunt here in West Michigan. I, uh, I really have a good time with it. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I'm not a social gadfly, uh, and I've met just a world of people with this. And, uh, one year I had 43,000 letters. What those 43,000 people were looking for was a shot at winning all this silver, which is what you get if you can solve the Riddler's Riddle. Moving north rapidly on my bike, seeking solid support for a rest, my route allowed me a closer look. Ahead stood just the right thing, something Chuck would approve of. I stopped and left it there, though. I don't know about you, but there'll probably be flowers sprouting from this ground before I could ever solve this riddle. But Joe says it's easy if you just look at it the right way. You get on the right thought pattern. You know, it's just a story. I just tell you exactly what I did. And it's, uh, the, the answer is all there. It's easy for Joe to say because there was a time that he actually thought in riddles. You see, Joe details cars for a living, and 21 years ago, he suffered carbon monoxide poisoning, which affected his long-term memory for four years. Gone was easy reasoning. Joe's thinking took the long way around. That was my normal thought process. You know, it was complicated. 17 years ago, Joe's memory came back, but he could still think in riddles. So he figured he'd put people to the test and see if they could think the same way and the Joe Kramer silver treasure hunt was born. But what's up with the silver? If I have something that I, I really like, and I, and I really like it, my nature is to share it. You know, and I really like silver. So all you have to do is solve the riddle, which will lead you to this medallion, which is really just a flat little piece of metal. Now, Joe says it's going to be on public property. It's not going to be any higher than three feet off the ground. It's not going to be buried below the ground, but it will be near a bus stop. So even those without a car can play the game. The riddle has been solved in as few as two days. The longest it ever took was four and a half months. And the 16 previous winners each walked away with quite a haul. Just looking at this makes you want to put your thinking cap on. And if you're good or lucky enough to solve the riddle, just give Joe a call. He's sitting in his squeaky chair waiting to hear from you. Yep, and if you want to get a copy of the clues, you can call the hotline. The number's on the screen there, 771-9618. And, you know, you might wonder, how does a man that details cars for a living afford all that fine silver year in and year out? I know that question's coming out of your mouth next, Larry Neenhouse, so I'll answer it <laughs> before you ask it. And that is, because he rides his bike to and from work during the nice months anyway, he saves so much money on gas, he can afford all that good stuff. But really... His heart, I think, is made of gold, even though he loves silver, and he just loves to please the public and just keep this game going. Well, that shows, and it's a great, yeah. great game. It's a yes. wonderful contest. Yeah, my head hurts already just from thinking about that group <laughs> for 10 minutes. It certainly gets your mind to thinking, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, All right, yeah. Joe, thank, thank you, you very much. Okay.